Hello and welcome to Powerbench. Today I'm going to be testing this Toll Cuda uh, power bank. It's 10,000 milliamp hours and it came from AliExpress. I paid £12.74 for it, including shipping and everything. Um, it's been on my shelf for a little while. I um, must admit, I did open the seal when it first arrived just to check it was okay um, because AliExpress want you to confirm delivery. Um, so it comes in a very large box. Uh, you can see and it's absolutely massive quite thin but um, and inside is a lot of empty space filled with foam which seems unnecessary um, so there's the power bank itself which is lit up already for its solar panel um, we've got a micro USB cable which looks like the standard sort uh, a little carabiner, which I guess you could hang it from a bag or something, and some instructions. And that's it. So not great from a waste point of view, uh, and an excessively large box for some reason. Um, I'll scratch off the test thing and see what that reveals, if anything. Um, double USB, LED light. There seem to be quite a few in this style. Um, in fact, I've got another one which it looks suspiciously similar to, um, which comes in a much less nice box. I can find it. This one, um, you can see how horrible the box for this is, but they do appear to be almost identical in their style, construction. Um, I mean, they're, if they're not made in the same factory, they're very. Uh, certainly very similar so I'm not going to bother testing this one uh, in the same way um, this one came from Banggood so um, but has a much worse a much worse packaging a warm notice impotent notice uh, do not crash dismantle weight damp and compress the bank so uh, so yeah so the, these appear to be there are quite a few people selling this particular style and um, this one does have a Tolkuda logo on the back. Let me just brighten that up so you can see. Uh, 10,000 milliamp hour, 5 volt, 1 amp input, 2 amp output. So this can take forever to charge. Um, it does have a solar panel. Uh, what is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, 10. Uh, so it will output a 5, five, and a half, tight, yeah, 5 volts, I think. Um, but it's not going to be very much power, I don't imagine it'll be a you know, few milliamps it'll probably keep it topped off once it's initially charged but you're not going to want to do uh, 10,000 milliamp hour um, charging without just on the solar panel I will open this one up, let's have a look just to see if it's the same on the back because I'm kind of curious now uh, so these came from different places, this one from Aliexpress, this one from Banggood and they were of a similar price, I think this one might be 8,000 million per hours though oh, look. Uh, similar USB cable, carabiner with a compass on it for this one um, so let me keep things together, that's the little manual for this one this one does have a different manual so that's interesting um, in terms of style, they are, I mean, they are so close to being identical. Uh, LED brightness is slightly different. This one doesn't have any branding on the back, but again, it's, I mean, it's identical, isn't it? There's, there's no, no real difference between them. So, um, you can get this style elsewhere, by the looks of things, I don't know how good they are. That's what we're here for. Um, so going back to just the Tolkuda one then. Um, you can still buy them. This one's been on my shelf since August. Um, I'm not even going to bother with that. The certificate. How to charge. Connect the computer. Oh yeah, no, this is... Um, oops, sorry, you can't see that. Yeah, you can pause that and read it if you like. Um... Well, 
it is what it is. So, um, the power bank itself, we've got a little rubbery bung covering two USB ports and a micro USB focus. Come on, focus, thank you. Um, and a micro USB charging port. Um, bit of flashing on the rubber. So a sort of a I think it might be an insert underneath the plastic case. Um, so there's a light, um, so there's a bit of flashing there. There's a light built into it, um, a belt clip of some sort, um, and a power button. So I don't know how this, if I press the power button, four bars of lit upness. So, hmm, I guess we'll see. Does that change if you put the light out? No? Okay. Uh, is it press and hold? No. Ah, double press. So that's... Mm, it's not going to win any awards for brightness, but it's... Uh, it's okay. Does it stand up right? Yes, yeah, so you could use it as a torch in a room. That's fine. Uh, I can't see now. Um, I'm not entirely convinced by how bulgy this thing feels. I mean, it kind of feels like... I don't know what that is, but you probably can't see that all that well, but it kind of bulges out in the middle, which is slightly alarming, but I don't know, it feels like it's full of something, but hopefully that's not bulging battery packs. The solar panel's on a bit of a lean as well. Um, I might crack this open later. Um, so what have we got? Uh, USB cable is... Sorry, I'm going off on a tangent here. Uh, reasonably thick, L limited, very limited strain relief, USB logo, at least on the right side, uh, micro USB end is similar, feels like a standard 30-ish centimeter cable, yep, pretty much tip to tip. Um, the power bank itself is 138 long uh, about 76 wide and about 20 no about 18 17 wide yeah, 17 mil wide. Um, and it weighs what's it weigh? 212 grams. Um, so it's interesting that it's come fully charged. Um, I don't know how full it is full. Um, but it's a good sign that it comes with a decent amount. It'll be interesting to see if that gauge is accurate. So, turn this on. So it claims it will do 2.1 amps, I think, in the um, description. That's a good start. It's five volt, five point zero four volts at one amp. Oh, that's good. And it's actually flashing a. Light under there, if you can make it out. Um, nothing obviously differentiating those ports, but it does say one is one amp and one is two amp. So I guess then that's the one amp output. Maybe this is very confusing. So let's try the other one. So 
one amp, five volts. Oh, oh no. Four point. Oh no, this is nonsense. Unless I got these mixed up. So that one won't do two amps. Four amps, we're down to four and a half volts and dropping, and it's dead. So, neither port will do two amps as it currently stands. Um, let's just double check. So, at one amp. Seems pretty stable. 1.2 amps. It's okay. 1.4 amps. The voltage, let's back that off slightly. So 1.3. We're seeing 4.8 amps. Uh, 4.8 volts. That voltage drops off quite dramatically. So 1.4 amps, 4.3 volts. Terrible. And then it dies. And then just to verify that, let's wait for the flashing to stop. So the voltage is dropping again. And I assume this will turn off in a second. Yeah, there we go. Oh dear, that's very poor. Um, okay, let's test the cable then. Um, So, um, use the bench power supply as normal. Different cable from a different power bank. So, we'll set this up as normal 2.1 amps. Turn the power on. There we go, so 2.1 amps, 5 volts exactly. Plug this into the micro USB socket. Oh, my little fill light's just run out of battery. Uh, 0.25, so 5% at 2.1 amps. Um, it's not too bad actually, as far as a freebie cable goes, it's not brilliant, but it's not awful. Um, I've seen a lot worse, so it's, it's mediocre, but it's not not the worst I've seen by quite some stretch. Um, I suppose I should test pass-through power, but I'm not sure how much value there's going to be in that. How much slack have we got in the cable? A little bit. Um, so let's test with this little thin meter. Uh, uh, no, there's not enough room. What about this one? Let's plug the charge and port in. So it's drawing an amp. Plug the little meter in. Yeah, that works. You can't really see that. Hang on. Let me adjust the thing down slightly. Get some of this out of the way. So uh, it is charging and supplying power at the same time. Um,
yeah so that does seem to work. you see it's now drawing 1.8 amps so uh, it's still drawing an amp for the charging of the power bank um, and the 0.74 so if I go up, put right that up to a full amp there you go you see it's drawing 2 so it does seem to do that um, if I then turn the power off it does reset uh, unplugging the cable make any difference no um, so pass through seems to work but as always you, if you're trying to charge it as well as power something then um, it's going to be a bit questionable so uh, thus far I'm not terribly impressed so what I'm going to do is do the charging up uh, let's turn the power back on Uh, reset the count on this little meter and then get this charged up um, so I'll measure how much it takes while that's happening um, that's annoying that little clip means it doesn't rest level on the table Okay. Um, while that's charging I am just going to break out this other one of the same style um, if I press the button so that's only reporting three blobs full charge. Yep, yeah. user interface is the same. Um, so just for the sake of argument, uh, let's test this in the same way. While well, this is doing some charging. So, five volts, one amp. 1.2 amps is okay. <laughs> 1.3 amps the voltage starts to drop off and exactly the same behavior what about this one so one amp is okay oh again seeing the voltage drop off of 1.2 <laughs> exactly the same so um, it doesn't appear to be a fault with this power bank it appears to be that these power banks are made of lies uh, and when they say they'll do two amps what they actually mean is it won't even slightly do two amps um, so this so far is not looking very promising um, does this one actually have any different claims on the spec almost nothing uh, its manual says so this is a Tolkuda manual uh, which doesn't say anything on here about its spec um, the other random one also doesn't say USB it's interesting though actually looking at these there's very similar the diagrams are the same the certificates are very similar the instructions are sim they're not quite the same but they're very similar so these definitely are coming from the same place, I'm sure. Um, so I guess the other thing I want to test, I may as well do it with this one, given they're the same. <laughs> uh, if I put this in 1 amp mode, actually let's... Benefit of having a bunch of meters lying around. So if I plug this one in to here, you should see... Uh, yep, 0.9 amps. And then if I plug in, uh, nope, I've lost it. Now there it is. Too many things lying around. I'll try and plug in this. Is there room? Ooh, just. So that's at 1.4 amps. Uh, 
amps in total. It powers off. <laughs> so it definitely can't even do one amp per port, um, which I guess is not a massive surprise. Seems pretty terrible. Um, so there we go. Uh, it's not looking very good. Um, I will try and uh, let this charge up and give it a fair crack at the discharge test. Um, I will work out what the standby current is uh, and then we'll finish the test as normal but thus far I'm not terribly impressed. I'll be back in a bit. Okay so it is charged up <coughs> and it's currently drawing about 15 milliamps. Um, the so it's drawn 16,625 milliwatt hours uh, of a claim capacity of 37,000 watt hours, so a bit under half to fill it. I don't know how full it was, but um, it's in the right, it was showing as um, three or four blobs full, so uh, it's probably not that efficient a charging process. It was very slow, maximum of an amp, took forever, um, but it's in the right sort of ballpark for being about two thirds full, probably. Um, so, uh, that looks good, um, well, it doesn't look good, obviously nothing about this power bank looks especially good, but it is what it is. So, I'm woefully ill-prepared, let me start up the load and get the oscilloscope prepped. Um, that light is the charge light on this. Um, so just to get my facts straight, uh, this one came from AliExpress. Uh, it's 10 amper hours or 10,000 milliamp hours, and it cost £12.74, including shipping. The suspiciously similar blue one uh, came from Banggood. It's only claimed as 8 amper hours. It was £11.63. Uh, and it doesn't make any amperage claims for the ports in the description. So, whereas this one does specifically, the green one does specifically say supports 2.1 amp output from the power socket. So this one doesn't actually claim anything, so I mean, it's a slight omission, but um, so be it. Um, right, I'm just going to get set up to do the discharge test and then um, then we'll carry on. Okay, uh, ready to go. Um, so I'll do the new standard thing of setting this up to run on um, time-lapse mode. Um, let's get the meter zeroed I apologize for the focusing going on right done um, I'm going to do this charge up one amp because that's realistically all this is going to do um, I think the impact of the solar cell is going to be negligible, so I'm not even going to slightly worry about that. Um, I will do a teardown on this later and measure it, but um, not, not right now. Uh, and then conveniently you can see both the meter and the charge level, so that's good. So, we'll turn this up to 1 amp. You can see this cycling on and off, which is interesting. Um, So one amp, one amp, one amp, it's half an amp per division, um, so two amp, uh, sorry, yeah, half an amp per division, so we're seeing one amp on the oscilloscope. Uh, steady five volts at the moment. Um, we can turn the bench power supply off. Um, let me just adjust the camera so you can see properly. 
Okay, uh, so I'll switch this into time lapse mode and leave it to go. Um, only drawing it an amp, so this is going to take a little while, I think. Um, but that's the way it goes. Back in a bit. So it finished uh, last night, I didn't have a chance to finish this video um, because at one amp it took ages for this to discharge. Um, so let's find out what the uh, actual output was. Now remember that the green one, the Tolkuda one, uh, is supposed to be 10,000 milliampere hours, so that's 37 watt hours. Uh, and the figure on the meter is 24,599 milliwatt hours. Which doesn't sound very good to me. But let's do the maths. 24599 uh, divided by 37,000 times by 100. 66%. 66.5. Uh, which is pretty terrible. Um, that is not really very good especially given it's uh, it can only deliver an amp um, so I think the obvious thing to do at this point is to take it apart um, for two reasons one I'd like to compare it with what's in the 8000 milliampere hour blue one uh, actually let's weigh them compare their weight that would be interesting wouldn't it well maybe not but I'm going to do it anyway so the green one, the Tolkuda one, 10,000 milliampere hours, 212.6 grams. And the 8,000 milliampere hour one, 227 grams. Um, so that's interesting. So that does beg the question, as well as lying about the output power, is this also not actually 10,000 milliampere hours? Well, there's only one way to find out. Well, no, this, this won't necessarily show us either, but I think these are plastic plugs that cover up the screws. Yeah, they are. There's one. Let me uh, angle this down slightly so you can see better. And turn on my fill light so it's a bit more sensibly illuminated. So I don't know if we'll actually be able to see what the cells are in this. Right, that's all the little green blobs. So, uh, in summary, if this is a power bank, I mean, it, it, it claims to be, the description, it claims it'll do 2.1 amps. And in fact, it's even printed on the back. Or 2 amps. It absolutely will not do 2 amps on either socket. Uh, it can only barely do 1 amp in total, so it can't even do 1 amp independently on each socket. So, it's basically very poor. Um, what you would expect of a basic power bank in 2018 um, is, you know, not to be lying about the capacity. That would be a good start. Uh, let me get into this thing. Um, but they clearly are lying about something. Um, or at the very least, 
uh, how ah, does that just come apart? Looks like it does. It's just friction fit at this point, by the looks of things. Um, albeit quite stiff. Um, yeah, so on the whole, um, it's not terribly impressive. Um, you certainly expect more from a power bank. Um, like basic honesty in the description would be a good start. Um, yeah, basic honesty in the description would be a good start. And they haven't even bothered with that. So, uh, on the whole, I'm not terribly impressed. Let's try not to break this solar panel. But So on the plus side, I suppose it's relatively straightforward to get this apart without destroying it, which is an improvement on the ones that are. Aha, there we go. Um, the ones that are friction uh, welded or glued. Uh, can I get that plastic? Can I see that's where the so solar panel. Uh, 8,000 milliamp hours printed on the battery <laughs> uh, and this well I mean it's quite a decent size battery um, so here's an interesting thing though. so let's look at uh, what was it 224599 I think I still have the meter Seven volts times by eight thousand milliamp hours gives us eighty three percent efficiency, which is more like it. I mean, that's kind of like standard power bank, especially say delivering an amp. Um, so it's not the advertised capacity. Um, it's not the advertised power output. It can't do. Amps. Um, so yeah, terrible. Very disappointing. Um, so that's in there. So it looks like this is stuck in with a bit of tape. So I'm a bit reluctant to put too much in effort into whipping it out. Um, doesn't look like there's any protection on the cell. Let's see if I can get this focus. There we go. So you can see um, the lithium ion cell just appears to have two tabs at the top, but I can't see any protection actually on the cell. Um, quite beefy wires which I guess is what you would 
hope. Uh, little eight pin chip, which may have some writing on it. Can't see if it is, it's very pale. Um, there's, a, yeah, there's another chip under there. What have we got? Again, can't quite make out what that says. Look at this plastic. Let's see if I can get these foam pads off without ruining it. Uh, right then. So, what have we got here? So I can't quite make out what it says. No, I can't tell what any of those are. Which is, um... Fine, okay. So, for the sake of completeness then, let's look at the blue one. So this is advertised as... Um, uh, 8,000 milliamp hours uh, in the description. Um, it didn't make any claims about being able to deliver 2 amps, although it was a little bit um, disappointing in the sense that it also didn't admit that it was only capable of doing 1 amp, but that's a bit more honest than an outright lie. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how they compare, given this one was cheaper um, and not full of lies. It did come in a much nastier box, which um, if you care about that then so be it. Um, so I don't think I would really recommend this one either, um, given it seems to suffer from the same sort of problems. Um, as the other one, it's still only capable of delivering an amp, which yeah, same sort of design. Yeah, plastic clip. Come on, there you come. Oh, this one's actually slightly different construction. There's three plastic clips. That are not engaged this side, but it looks things. So, construction of this is somewhat shoddy. Um, where's my spudger? That's better. Um, Just for getting my hand in the way there. Ah. Now I know how this works. Got the last plastic clip undone. Oh, I see. Okay, there we go. Brute force and ignorance saves the day. 
Um, so what have we got? Oh, that looks nasty. Oh, or it's glued. Um, so it looks like he says, still failing to get this apart. Why is this so stiff? Two like plastic lugs. There we go. Gotcha. So um, they're actually slightly different internally. There's no plastic uh, foam stuff pinning this down. Um, let's get the two side by side. So the Panels appear to be similar but not quite the same. But the driver circuit, unsurprisingly, the wires are slightly shorter on the blue one, which is a little bit irritating. They don't quite stand up cleanly. Let's see if I can get a clear view of these for you. So the driver circuit for these appears to be identical, um, although the chips are a bit more identifiable in this one. So let's see if you can make that out. Um, so on this side, if you can see, there we go. Um, this one is labelled hot chip HT. T4936S um, but the board in both cases is labelled XHD 2592H2 uh, HT sorry so they do appear to be identical boards, identical chips identical components um, so the blue one appears to have, it looked manky, but actually it's glue. Um, so it's got two uh, lithium-ion cells tacked together by the looks of things. Um, which is unusual, I guess they... M whether it's got... This one says 3.7 volt, 5,000 milliamp hour um, so I don't know what the other one is but so the the green one appears to have just a single it looks like a single cell um, it's stuck in quite firmly so I'm not going to start digging around at that too much um, so it's a single 8,000 milliamp hour cell, as far as I can tell. Um, the cheaper blue one has two cells stuck together. One is claimed to be 5,000 milliamp hours, and if they're parallel together, then this either is a 10,000 milliamp hour bank, albeit with no. Oh, this isn't stuck, so that's good. Uh, well, this one has obviously been taken out of something else. Um, because that glue is a bit of captain tape, double-sided by the looks of things there. Um, this one is two cells that are, yeah, they're parallel together. So there's two wires from the positive terminals of the batteries there, just going to the single positive terminal on the board. So there's no balancing of these. Um, and they are different sizes. So I think when they say, 
10,000 milliamp, uh, 8,000 milliamp hour, which is what this is advertised as. No, those are properly bonded. I'm not going to try and get those apart. Um, I think that might be a 5,000 and a 3,000. Um, but without any balancing circuitry, that's... The 3,000 is going to fill up first. Um, yeah, that's not... Well, it's probably okay, actually. Because they'll level off in voltage. But you could quite well end up in a scenario where one fails... Yeah, yeah, probably okay. Um, sort of cheap, but cheap power banks. I'm not sure what else to expect. So yeah, same circuitry, different batteries. Um, this one claims it's 8,000 milliamp hours, and I have no reason to disbelieve it. The Tolkuda one claims it's 10,000 milliamp hours, and that is an outright lie. It's an 8,000 milliamp hour battery. It's an 8,000 milliamp hour cell, in fact, because it's not a. It's only a single cell, um, but it doesn't have the glued together pair of batteries. Um, so, if you want these for as a source of reasonably sized lithium ion um, cells, which I do actually, is what I. I wasn't sure what was in these, but this is moderately helpful for... I want this to power a low-power microcontroller. Um, so that's kind of handy for me. Um, they're alright as a source of cheap parts, I suppose. Don't assume that you'll be able to run them for any decent amount of time. Um, at anything more than an amp, though. Uh, and the solar panel, I mean, it's, it's garbage. It's not going to output. Um... Very much power at all. It will take a, you know, months to charge one of these batteries. It may even not keep on top of the discharger. I don't know. Um, so yeah, not terribly impressive. Um, but they are. They appear the same. They are more or less the same. But I would say don't buy them. Get something that can actually output um, two amps if you're looking to charge any kind of modern smart device. Um, because these will not do it, they will not charge anything at a reasonable rate. Um, shall we just, yeah, let's quickly measure the... Uh, get my meter cables in order. Let's measure the voltage. Uh, across that cell. it. I'll hold this up to the light. So I could really do with going big Clive style overhead. But hopefully you can see. Five volts. Um, so that's not terribly impressive. Well, it's certainly not enough to charge a battery. Does that just light up the LED? <laughs> That'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, two point three. If I cover up one of the panels. Um, Yeah, it's just outputting two point yeah, two point five volts, um, which is certainly not. I mean, they're not doing anything obviously clever. Um, I 
motor lights. fiddly to do with one hand. Apologise for making this video long and tedious. Yeah, it's the same. So, um, I am not convinced at all um, about the quality of this panel in terms of outputting something that the um, that will actually charge the battery. Um, it looks like it's a gimmick that just makes the little green LED light up. Um, because it isn't really enough to... It's not going to be high enough voltage to charge a battery. Um, so, yeah, that's Porsche. So just having a look through this properly, um, if I, it's bothering me a little bit. So I've disconnected this from the uh, charging board. And if I connect, this is where you can't see, um, on the meter, it is actually, if I shine a sufficiently bright light at it, it does come up to just over five volts. Um, so the solar panel does appear to be capable of outputting a bit north of 5 volts, which is what you'd hope. Um, and looking more carefully, it's a bit easier now. Um, let me just focus this so you can see. I'll bring my fill light in so you get a bit more light. Um, there we go. So you can see just here... Uh, so they're cu cunningly labelled Sun Plus and Sun Minus for the solar panel. Um, sun Minus just appears to go to a common ground, which is more or less as you'd expect. Um, sun Plus, uh, this thing is passing through a diode, which then goes straight onto the battery positive terminal. So um, we won't get any flow from the battery back through the solar panel, which is what you'd want. Um, and then it looks like it's connected up to a little LED through this current limiting resistor here uh, to LED 6, which is the one that... Um, that indicates the charge. So in theory, if this is outputting more than um, uh, whatever the bulk battery voltage is, which I mean it, it should never get above um, 4.2 volts, um, and it is lowest normally they'll discharge. They'll stop discharging somewhere around 3 volts. And um, we could actually check what the battery voltage is. Um, let's do that. Bear in mind this is now discharged. Um, I haven't charged it up since doing the discharge test. Um, so the current battery voltage is, he says, failing to operate arms. Uh, I, don't, I really need to tidy my desk at this point. Um, so actually, you can see that enough. Um, so battery voltage is probably 3.4 volts. Um, so that's a bit more than I'd expect. Um, but okay, fine. That drop if we put some load on the power bank. But it does. Oh, it's woken up. So it's outputting some power. Let's turn that up. Uh, there we go, half an amp. Um, so 3.26 volts at the moment. It's dropping, but so I don't know at what point this cuts the power off. Um, it is flashing the one LED, so it still considers it to be relatively empty. But it is cut, it's leaving a decent amount in the battery, which is um, it's good. It's not completely emptying them. Um, so that's interesting uh, for academic interest rather than 
any practical use. It's still a pretty terrible power bank. I still wouldn't recommend you buy one. Um, but uh, so the solar panel does in fact charge the battery. Um, but again, it will be such a tiny current. It's not going to make that dramatic a difference uh, unless you in a habit of leaving them for a long time in a sunny place it will probably keep the battery topped off but you're certainly not going to want to rely on charging it but still it's bad don't buy all right um so that's well summary video really is that um it's a pretty terrible power bank neither of them are particularly good um if you want to buy no just don't buy one they're bad 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 um, thank you for watching this video. Um, if you like the videos, then um, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you don't like the videos, then I have a website at powerbend.ch where the, I'll do a write-up of each review that I do, so you can read that without having to watch the video. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll hopefully see you soon.